I focus on onandroid.com where we get yeah. on Android every day. Anyway, Android 5.0 Lollipop has been held for actually almost a week or two, and I'm just catching up because I didn't bring any of my Nexus devices while I went to Korea. So uh, as soon as I got back, I updated my Nexus 4 uh, with Lollipop, my Nexus 5 with Lollipop, also my Nexus 7s uh, with Lollipop, and of course uh, my uh, Nexus 10. I'm also I'm gonna do my Galaxy Nexus and Nexus S next. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these different, um, the Lollipop. These are actually just stock ROMs, uh, stock firmware is made into ROMs. Uh, also, you can go ahead and install the latest version of Super SU to get root. Um, so let's go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. Uh, let me go ahead and show you um, just all the different versions. I mean, I, you know, let me go ahead and just show you. It's really fast. Also, I've got root installed working just fine. Just make sure you install the latest Super SU version 2.30. That's the beta version. Uh, previous versions will not work. And then you, you got the nice little um, things. And you know, if you use a preview version before, it's pretty much identical. But now it's official and it's more stable than ever. I um, really like it. Let me go ahead and show you the uh, one of the cool things is the the Nexus 7 uh, is probably the best one that I've seen. Uh, the, this is the original Nexus 7 and um, it makes it super fast and uh, you know uh, if you've been using a Nexus 7 the original version you know how slow it is back in like ICS or Jelly Bean uh, with KitKat it got faster with uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop it got even way faster um, so very nice stuff and also I've got it installed on the 2013 edition uh, which is very nice also and I, I love it um, some of this stuff you will notice let me go ahead and show you that. Um, once you install it, go ahead and play with it. There's a lot of stuff. With the tablet edition, you'll get the nice two column instead of the one column. And uh, you can do this. There's a there's a way you can uh, notify. Yeah, I'll show you in a second. Uh, there's a way you can you know get the notifications just the way you want to. Oh, there we go. Inter if you go to interruptions here, um, you have additional stuff. There's a ton of stuff to play with. Also, if you go to display. Uh, you will now notice that uh, it has adaptive brightness um, so it will actually optimize brightness level one of the big things about Wallipop but overall it just makes your device so much much faster and also I've got it installed on my Nexus 5 of course and Nexus 5 uh, version is also good now when you install this ROM it might not have a Play Store depending on which one you installed some of the versions don't have G uh, Google Apps um, just simply reboot into recovery, download the, oh, sorry, download the G apps, you know, onto your phone, and then um, reboot into Clockwork Mod Tour Recovery, and then install G apps. And uh, when you install it, some people have been telling people that you need Twerp, the latest Twerp. Actually, I've installed it on like 2.7.1.1, so you don't actually need the latest Twerp or Clockwork Mod Recovery. You just need the minimum version, like just like with KitKat, you need Clockwork Mod. Ah, Clockwork Mod. Uh, version 6.0.4.3 or higher or with Twerp you need 2.6.3.3 or higher um, you should be all good to go um, also there are new bootloaders but I've actually didn't install the new bootloaders uh, and uh, it runs just fine um, you know if you have problems with booting just uh, you know format system and reinstall the ROM and it should work just fine uh, but uh, looking really good and also I've got it installed on my Nexus 10 of course and I don't have a Nexus 6 yet, but it, since it comes with Lollipop, um, see how this one that has the older one? So what you can do is just go to the Play Store, I was telling you, and just download uh, Google Now Launcher. And there we go. And sometimes they don't install right away. And just install it. Ah. Okay, this one's kind of laggy. I don't know why. <laughs> ah. Install. Okay, maybe something wrong with my tablet here. Ew. Demo fail. All right, just go ahead and install it, and you'll have the latest launcher. Um, also, of course, with Android 5.0 Lollipop, um, you get these nice cards, much nicer looking cards. I, I'm not actually playing those games. This is actually Peony's tablet. Um, so definitely upgrade and get root. Uh, if you already have a rooted Nexus device, uh, with Twerp or Quark My Recovery, you're good to go. Just install it and yeah, enjoy uh, Lollipop and all the cameras working fine. 
Um, there's a slight blink there, huh? Yeah, but uh, looking good. So if you're still on KitKat, you definitely got to upgrade. As far as you know, all keeping all your data and stuff. Um, you know, if you're on stock ROM, then you should be able to install over it. You should be fine. But uh, in most cases, I find that you will ha actually have to do a complete factory reset and reinstall it. Just do a clean install. You know, that's my recommendation. Um, and I think that's about it. So definitely try it out for this week's round of the week and do let me know. Uh, and if you have any problems with root, um, just leave in the comment section. I'm gonna try to find uh, different ways. I know there's some root problems uh, with the apps, but um, you know, the developers are working on it. So you just have to wait. And as far as all the other devices like the Galaxy S3, S4, S5, uh, there is CM12 you can install. I should have an overview video on that pretty soon also, but uh, you know, looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And thanks for watching this video. Um, just another note, when you install these, um, just make a backup ROM. I know a lot of you just you know forget to do that, install a new ROM, somehow mess it up, and then you lose everything, and then you blame it on me. Um, so make a backup ROM before you install it, so you have a, you know, uh, backup of everything. Backing up a ROM, in, you know, backs up everything, your settings, your apps, um, your app data, you know, all your SMS messages, all that. Also for SMS, you can go ahead and use uh, SMS backup app. Um, there's actually a bunch, but uh, as long as you have, you have a rooted device, it will actually back it up. And what I usually do is um, back it up, and then if you get paranoid, you can copy the backups um, using a USB flash, OTG flash drive, copy it over, or copy it into your computer, then you always have a copy. But if you never make a backup, uh, there will be a time. Uh, like I was in Korea and I, I installed this new ROM. I forgot to make a backup and everything just crashed and we had to start over. He lost all of his contacts, all of his stuff. Uh, but uh, later he found his contacts backed up through Samsung Keys. Um, glad, I'm glad that he did that, but he lost everything else. So. Uh, but you will not lose your personal files or photos. I mean, I would still back them up just in case. Um, so just back up, back up before you install new stuff like this, especially this is a new stuff. Also, uh, the installation, uh, boot time is really long. The longest for the Lollipop versus KitKat. It's like usually five to 10 minutes. So don't freak out. Let it run for 10 minutes. Uh, if it doesn't boot in 10 minutes, then um, go ahead and reboot into Clock Mod or Torp Recovery. If you go to, uh, for clock mod, if you go to, uh, I think, mount and storage, yes, mount and storage, there's a menu for format system, format slash system. Do that, reinstall ROM, reboot. 99% of the time, that will fix, uh, you know, boot loops. And also for twerp, uh, if you go to wipe, go to advanced wipe, there's format system. Do that um, and reinstall ROM. Formatting system doesn't erase all of your you know, files, personal files and stuff. It only erases the system partition. Sometimes uh, when you install a ROM, uh, when you do factory reset data wipe, it doesn't format your system and it gets corrupted and that's why it doesn't boot. But if you format system, install ROM, it usually boots. And if, you, you know, if it doesn't boot the second time, do it like two more times and it will boot. That's how I do it. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys soon. Um, try the lollipops if you haven't yet. If you have already, congratulations. Uh, you are super high on Android, uh, and uh, I will see you guys soon. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm gonna be making some um, pumpkin pie uh, from scratch. You know, and uh, I'll have a Google Glass video of me making it. A how-to video. Actually, it's my first time, so I will see you guys soon. Wish me luck and uh, have a great Thanksgiving. Uh, stay super. Yeah. On Android.